Dominoes, Level 1, Football Forever, by Andrea Sarto, read by Danica Fairman, Rob Fitch, Wayne Forrester, Roger May, Martin T. Sherman, and James Daniel Wilson. Published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2016. Chapter 1. Halftime. Bad. Very bad. The coach says angrily, It's the last game of the year. We need to win to get the cup. We is stars. My new football team. And I'm Albertino, or Tino, to my friends. Our team are losing 2-0 to Stripes. They've got some good players and are playing well. But I know we can play better. Bad. Very bad. The coach says again. They call him Zangado, angry in Portuguese. He looks around the changing room. His hair is white, his face is red. We must win this game. Do you want to win the cup or not? We want to win, but nobody answers. The players are looking down, all but three of us. The first is my friend, Junior. He's 19 and comes from my hometown. He's a good player and my best friend. I like him a lot. I remember we played futsal when we were children. Futsal is football with only five players in the team. It's a fast game. The second is Lenda. He's 30 and he comes from Sao Paulo. He's the captain of stars and a very good player. He played for the Brazilian team when he was younger. I saw him play, and I had a picture of him in my bedroom. But he doesn't like me because I'm new and very young. The third is me, Tino. I'm only 16, but I live football. In the day, I play football. At night, I sleep football. I eat and drink football. The beautiful game. Stars is my first big team, and I'm very happy to be here. I know I'm young, but it doesn't matter. I've got two quick feet. I'm not tall, but I'm very fast and stronger than other boys of 16. I can play forever. I didn't play in the first half. I waited and watched. But I could do nothing, of course. We went 1-0 down after 10 minutes, then 2-0 down five minutes before halftime. Ouch! Okay, the coach says suddenly. I want much more from all of you in the second half. We must play better. So I'm going to make some changes. Now all the players look up. You and you. The coach says to two players. You worked well, but I'm making two changes. Nakano, are you ready? He asks a different player. Yes, coach says Nakano. Okay, you're on. Then he looks around. Who's the next player? I feel my hands get hot. Coach Zangado looks past me, then he looks back. Dino, are you ready? Who? Me? I ask. Yes, you. You're the only Dino here. Uh, yes, coach. I'm ready. Okay. You're up front with Linda. We need a goal early in the second half. 
Understand? Yes, coach. Junior looks at me and gives a big smile. Lenda looks at me, but he doesn't smile. He's thinking, Who is this boy? How good is he? Can he help us win? I can't answer these questions, but I feel very happy and excited. My shirt is white, number 20, with Tino in big black letters on the back. On the front is a big star. I pull up my right sock, then my left. In my left sock, there is something for good luck, a little star. My mother gave the little star to me when I began to play futsal. Here, Tino. Take this for luck. You're little now, but one day you're going to be a big star. An amazing player. I know it. You're going to play for a big team. I love my mother. She's here today with my younger brother, Alex, and my little sister, Talita. My hometown is watching the game on TV, but my father isn't here today. He doesn't want to come, he says. Shh! Now listen to me, says the coach. Everybody in the changing room is suddenly very quiet. We can hear the big clock. It isn't finished, okay? We're 2 0 down. Not good. But we've got 45 minutes. Anything can happen in football. You know that. Stars is a good team. Stripes is an okay team. They've got one good player. Their keeper. He's a big man. And he can stop a lot. But he's only one man. Let's play our game. Move the ball and work for the team. Don't stand and think. Play with your feet. And when you can, shoot! This is Brazilian football. It's easy. The players are looking at Coach Zangado. He's right, says Linda. The game isn't finished. We can't do it. But do you want to win? Asks the coach. Yes! Some of the players say. I can't hear you, says the coach. Do you want to win? This time, all of the players shout, Yes! Yes! And can you do it? Asks the coach. Yes! Shout the players. Come on, we can do it. The captain shouts. He looks in our eyes. Okay, let's go. We all walk out of the changing room. I've got butterflies in me, but I feel good. Butterflies are okay in my first big game. The fans shout when we run onto the pitch. The noise is amazing. The pitch is very green and it suddenly feels very, very big. I look around. There are thousands and thousands of fans. Some in white shirts, some in red shirts. White is our color. Red is the color of stripes. They're all watching the game and watching me. Come on, Tino, I say quietly. I know I can do it. Chapter 2, Second Half My team is playing 3-5-2. I'm up front with Lenda, the captain. He's a forward with an amazing right foot. Our five midfielders are all good. 
But the best one is Bruno. He's from Argentina and can pass, tackle and score with his right or left foot. I usually shoot with my right foot, but my left is getting stronger. Our three defenders are tall and strong. My friend Junior is a defender. He can tackle really well. He's good with his head and watches the ball carefully too. Right now, Stripes have got the ball. They pass it from player to player and then back to the keeper. He's their captain and he comes from the USA. Captain America, the fans call him. He's two meters tall and his big hands and feet can easily stop a shot. He changed the color of his hair for this game. Now it's red. Wow, he looks mean. He kicks the ball 80 meters down the pitch, but our defenders get it and pass it to the midfielders. I run fast, so no stripes players are near me. I'm free, I shout, but nobody hears me. The midfielders pass the ball slowly. Bruno sees me, but doesn't pass it. The ball comes to Lenda, and I make a run through the stripes defenders. Lenda, over here! He doesn't pass it. He doesn't want to pass it. I need to kick the ball or my butterflies aren't going to go. Fifteen minutes into the second half and nothing. Right. The ball isn't going to come to me, so I run back into our half of the pitch. Now my friend Junior's got the ball. I put my hand up and he plays a nice pass to my feet. At last! Suddenly, somebody shouts, Man on! Oh no! I lose the ball to a stripes midfielder. I run back and tackle him. But he falls over. The whistle goes. What? Free kick to stripes? Oh no! The first time I get the ball, and I give Stripes a free kick. The fans shout, and I feel bad. But it's going to get worse. The ref is walking up to me with a yellow card in his hand. Bad tackle from behind, he says. It's my first game for my new team. Lenda looks at me and he's thinking, This boy is no good. He can't help us win. He can only make us lose. Come on, Tino! Shouts Junior. It doesn't matter. He's right. It's only a free kick. I run and stand next to the defenders. Our keeper's name is Falcao, and he shouts, Four! I want four men in front. Move to the left. More! More! Then the whistle again. A stripes forward hits the ball with his right foot. A good shot over our heads. But Falcao saves it. Yes! I run up to him. Good save! He smiles with his eyes. You give good luck, Tino. Five minutes later, I get the ball again. But this time, the home fans whistle. Is it because I knew? Or because I gave away a free kick? They want me to go off. Why did I leave my hometown to play for stars? My father was right. Don't go, he said. You're not ready. Stars is a big team, and you are very young. But Dad, I said, I watched Stars play when I was six years old. Now I'm 16. It's time for me to go. Huh, you think you're a man? No, that's not it. I only want to be the best. Okay, he said at last. You can go, Tino, but... 
I don't want to watch you play. That's why my father isn't here today with my family. Ah! Just then, a stripes defender tackles me. A really mean tackle. He kicked my leg. Now, he's got the ball, and I'm sitting on the pitch. Foul! I shout. No! Says the ref. No whistle, no foul, and no free kick. And we're 2-0 down. What a game. But I'm not going to stop playing. It's time for me to start. Come on, Tino, I think. I get up and run after the defender. He passes it to another player. But it's not a strong pass. Can I get there before him? Yes! I got the ball! I put my foot on it and look up. There are two defenders in front of me and the keeper. I dribble past one defender and then kick the ball between the legs of the other. Now the keeper comes out to meet me, Captain America, with his mean red hair. How can I get past him? His arms and legs are long, and his hands are very big, too. Tino! Lenda suddenly shouts. He's running into the box on my left. I look right, but kick the ball left. A no-look pass. Captain America is big, but he can't move that fast. Lenda hits the ball, a strong shot. He scores! Goal! Now, we're only 2-1 down. The fans shout. All the players in my team run up to Lenda. Well done! Good goal! Good goal! Good goal. Then, Lenda comes up to me and gives me a high five. <laughs> nice pass, Tino. He smiles, and I smile back. But then we look at the clock. Chapter 3. Three Minutes Left. Three minutes. There are only three minutes left. Where did all the time go? My team's stars are losing 2-1 to Stripes. The winner of this game gets the cup. Usually, the strongest and best teams win the cup. I passed to our captain, Lenda, and he scored. But we need one more goal, an equalizer, to make the game 2-2. Most of us are tired, but I didn't play in the first half, so I feel okay. I'm running after the Stripes defenders to get the ball. They take it to the corner of the pitch and watch the clock go down. But I run after them, and I don't stop moving. I learned to do this when I played futsal as a boy. There are only five players in a futsal team, so you run and tackle a lot, all the time. Two minutes to go. Now I'm running fast, and the pitch under my feet is green. A beautiful green. This was different when I was younger, of course. Before we moved to my hometown, I lived in a village. There were no green pitches, only a dirty orange pitch under a hot, hot sun. We played football for hours, me and my friends, me and my little brother Alex. We were all the best players at once. And Kaká passes to Robinho. Robinho to Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho shoots. He scores. I scored a lot of goals on that orange pitch. But today, I only need to score one. And I need to score it now. There's one minute left to save the game. 60 seconds. The fans are shouting. Our fans 
are in white, the Stripes fans are in red. Then, one of the Stripes defenders quickly passes the ball to a midfielder. He dribbles the ball up the pitch and passes to a forward. This doesn't look good. The forward goes past a Stars midfielder and then a defender. Oh no. This Stripes player is good. He gets near the goal and he's going to shoot. I must stop him. I can tackle him, but it's going to be tough. Earlier, I gave Stripes a free kick and I got a yellow card. This time, the forward is in the box, so I don't want to give away a penalty. Not with only one minute to go and my team 2-1 down. I run fast, and yes, I tackle him. No whistle. I've got the ball. Our keeper, Fakao, wants it. Tino, pass it to me. I'm going to kick it into their box. But I don't listen. Something tells me to go, go, go. I dribble past a stripes player and then do a one-two with Junior. I go past another player and then past the Bruno. All the time, I'm running fast. Bruno dribbles it and then passes it back to me. I can see Lenna is running 30 meters away across the pitch. It's a tough pass, but I hit it first time and the ball goes to his feet. I run across the halfway line. Lenda has two defenders in front of him. He goes past one and then looks up. Nobody from Stars is there to help him. Only me. How many seconds are there on the clock? Lenda takes the ball into the corner. Why? <gasps> okay, I know. The two defenders go after him. This leaves me free. There's nobody near me. Lenda dribbles around one of the defenders. He crosses the ball, and I run quickly into the box. Their keeper, Captain America, jumps but misses it. Oh no, I'm not going to get there. I dive and head the ball. My eyes are open, and then they close as I fall on the pitch. Where did the ball go? The shout from the fans tells me where. In the back of the net. Goal! The equalizer. I did it. We did it. I can't believe it. To score in my first game is amazing. But to score the equalizer is really amazing. I hear the whistle and the Stars players run up to me. Tio! You, you did it! it. What, what a goal! Wow! Tino! Everybody jumps on me. I can hear the fans. Tino! 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 I can't believe it. We've got a chance to win. The game's going to go to extra time. Now the fans are singing. Dino! 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 I get up as Lenda arrives. He's smiling and he puts his hand on my head. Dino, the fans know your name now, I think. Then he claps his hands and the fans clap with him. Chapter 4, Full Time We've got a chance. It's 2-2, two, two, so there's going to be extra time, 30 minutes. Coach Zangado comes onto the pitch 
and says to everybody, Well played. You got the two golds. But now the real game starts. It's going to be tough. But you can do it. I believe in you. The fans believe in you. He gives every player a high five. We're all drinking water, and some of us are sitting down on the pitch. Get up! Zangado shouts. You're tired, I know. But you're very lucky, too. You're playing football, the game you love. When you were young boys, you wanted to be here in front of thousands of fans. It was your dream, wasn't it? Well, today, the dream is true. So be strong and do your best. That's all I have to say. Now, listen to Lenda. We stand around Lenda for the team talk. We put our arms on the shoulders of the players next to us. At first, Lenda is quiet. He looks down, and then he looks up into our faces. His eyes meet our eyes. Brothers, he says, when I played for the Brazilian team, we won lots of games. It was easy. We had amazing players, and they could do everything. They played for the team. Brazil is football. Football is Brazil. Here at Stars, it's no different. Look at Tino. This is his first game for us. He's new, but he runs and runs. He gave away a free kick and got a yellow card, but he also made the pass for the first goal and scored the second. I feel my friend Junior's hand on my shoulder. He's smiling at me. Then, Lenda is talking again. Think of this as your first game for stars, too. Work, work, work! Play your best football, but be happy. You're doing this for the team, for your friends and family, for the fans. Remember, we do everything with love, with our hearts. Now, let's get out there and play. Stars! Stars! We jump up and down and sing, Stars! Stars! Then, we stand on the pitch and wait for the whistle. I look up at all the people. My family is sitting with the Stars fans. In the first half, I couldn't look at them because I wasn't playing. In the second half, I didn't look at them because I was on the pitch and I was working. I can see my mother. She's waving. My younger brother Alex and my little sister Talita are jumping and shouting and singing. But who's that next to Talita? It's my father. My father is here. He came to see me. He smiles the biggest smile and waves at me. I see his mouth move. I love you, son. I'm here. I'm here to watch you. I'm sorry. I love you too, I shout. Then I point to the star on the front of my shirt. He smiles again and claps his hands. For me, this is wonderful. For me, this is everything. When I was younger, my dream was to play football. I wasn't different from any other boy, I thought. We all wanted to play football. But we weren't all lucky. I know that now. Some of my friends are at school and some are working. There are 200 million people in Brazil. They all love football, but not many can play it for money. There's a chance now for me 
to be a big star. So I must take it. I'm only 16, so what? I'm from a strong family. The photo on my phone is of me, my parents, Alex and Talita when we were by the sea last month. The weather there was good and we had a really wonderful time. In the morning, we all played keepy uppy. My mother too. We had lunch and then in the afternoon, we went in the sea. The sun was very warm. By evening, we were tired. So we sang or listened to stories. I was happy. But I also know that things change. I'm not a boy anymore. I'm a young man. What's going to happen tomorrow? I don't know. But what's happening today, here, around me? I can see that. This is a really big chance. No butterflies anymore. It's my time, and I'm ready. Chapter 5. Extra Time The first half of Extra Time finishes. The score is 2-2. No goals and not many chances. But now it's the second half and we've got a corner. Most of the Stars team are in the stripes box. Only Falcao, our keeper, and one defender aren't there for the corner. I go to take it. All our players start to move. They want to get free. I put up my hand and then hit the ball with my right foot. A beautiful cross. That's when I see the Stars keeper, Captain America, kick our best player, Lenda. Lenda falls over and Captain America gets the ball easily. Penalty! I shout to the ref. Lenda gets up and shouts at Captain America. Uh, animal! But Captain America is two meters tall. He doesn't like it when players shout at him. So he moves his face near to Lenda and looks mean. Come on, then. Old man, he says. Lenda isn't afraid of the keeper or his red hair. But then he makes a big mistake. In football, you can play tough. You can give 110% and your heart can be hot. But your head must be cold. Lenda kicks Captain America's leg and the keeper falls over. His hands go to his face. The fans shout noisily and the Stripes players all run to the ref. It looks bad. Very bad. The ref speaks to his assistant, but we can't hear them. Then the ref walks up to Lenda. He's got a card in his hand. What color? Yellow? Oh no, it's red! We've only got ten men, and there are five minutes left. What are we going to do without our captain? Lenda gives the captain's armband to Bruno. Then he walks off the pitch with his head down. He walks past Coach Zangalo, but Zangalo doesn't speak to him. He's very angry. Lenda kicks over a water bottle and walks off. Four! Four! One! Shouts Zangaro to the players on the pitch. Strong at the back! There are five minutes to go. Only five minutes, and then... Penalties. But five minutes is a long time with only ten players, and Stripes know it. They can win now, they think, and their players start to move the ball well. One pass, two, three, four... We can't get near it. 
I'm running fast, but going nowhere. Then, a long ball goes to a stripes forward. He dribbles past one of our defenders and shoots. It isn't a good shot, and it's not going to go into the goal. But then, the ball hits Junior on the shoulder. No! Fakal dives, but the ball goes into the net. An own goal! I don't believe it! We're 2-3 down. The Stripes team run around the pitch, and their fans are jumping and singing. They're going to win, they think. I go up to Junior. Listen, these things happen. There's time to score an equalizer. We did it before. We can do it again. Why me? Says Junior. It's bad luck, I say. And luck can change. With four minutes to go? I don't think so. Let's see. The game starts again, but we lose the ball. The Stripes defenders are passing it around slowly. Their fans are clapping. Three minutes left. It's going to take something wonderful. Then we win a throw-in. One of our midfielders, Nakano, is going to take it. He can throw the ball 25 meters. So I put my hand up. I'm on the halfway line and the ball comes to me. It bounces once and I look up. There are five or six stripes players in front of me and then the keeper, Captain America. He isn't standing on the goal line. He's 10 meters in front of it. So I hit the ball first time. Why not? It's an impossible shot. And it's not going to go in, is it? It bounces and Captain America jumps. His mouth is open in a big O. No! Yes! It goes into the corner of the net. Goal! My second goal! I can't believe it. 3-3. The score is 3-3 with only two minutes to go. The fans go crazy. Junior and the players go crazy. Zangado goes crazy. Impossible. I run round the pitch and shout and jump. This is the most amazing game. But it's not finished. Stripes start the game again quickly. Every Stars player is back in our half. We make tackle after tackle, but can't get the ball. We're very, very tired. One minute left, then 30 seconds. We need to get to penalties for a 50-50 chance. Suddenly, one of our defenders falls over. What a mistake! A stripes forward is through on goal. He shoots. Where is the ball going to go? We can only watch and wait. Falcao dives and misses it, but the ball hits the bar. It hits the bar and bounces back. A Stars defender kicks it over the halfway line and then, at last, the whistle goes. How lucky can you be? The answer is very. Chapter 6. Penalty Shootout All of the players are sitting on the pitch. We're very tired. Coach Sangado walks up to the players one by one. Well done. Well played. Amazing game. He walks up to me. Dino, your second goal was wonderful. Things are going to change for you, I think. Thanks, coach. Okay, men. He shouts. Let's look at the names. 
we stand around Zengado and he reads the names of five players for the penalties. One, Bruno. Two, Nakano. Three, Victor. Is he going to say my name? Four, Wesley. Five. I listen carefully. We all do. Who's going to take penalty number five? The last one. Five. Junior. Oh, not me. But good for Junior. I'm happy for him. I gave him a high five. You can do it. I know you can. We all go and stand on the halfway line with our arms on the shoulders of the players next to us. I'm standing next to Junior. We wait. Stipes are going to take the first penalty. One of their forwards starts the long walk to the penalty spot. The fans are shouting noisily. He puts the ball on the spot and then walks back. Our keeper, Falcao, jumps up and down. He waves his arms. The fans go quiet. The stripes forward looks cool. He waits for the ref's whistle and then runs and kicks the ball. He scores. That's the first penalty. So it's 1-0. Now it's our turn. Bruno walks up to the spot. He usually takes penalties for the team, so he looks very cool. He shoots. Goal! 1-1. One, one. Now it stripes turn again. This time, Falcao gets his hand to the ball, but it's moving very fast. 2-1. Nakano walks up to the spot for stars. He looks at the ball and then at the keeper. Captain America isn't moving. He's looking at Nakano and smiling. He looks very big in the goal. It's a tough question for Nakano. Blast it or put it in the corner? He blasts it and the net jumps. 2-2. Two, two. Then Stripes score again. 3-2. Then Victor scores the equalizer for Stars. 3-3. Three, three. Who's going to miss first? Us or them? Not them. They score their fourth penalty. Not us. We score our fourth one too. 4-4. Four, four. This is amazing. The fans can't believe it. Now I'm happy because I'm not taking a penalty. It's the turn of a Stripes midfielder. He walks to the penalty spot slowly. Has he got butterflies? He puts the ball on the spot and then moves it again. He walks back with his head down. He doesn't want to look at the fans or Fakao. He runs up and hits the ball. Save! Falcao saves it with his legs. For the first time in the game, we've got a good chance to win. We only need to score the next penalty, and it's Junior's turn. Take your time, I say to Junior. And remember, don't suddenly change the shot at the last second. Okay, I know, he says and walks up the pitch. We all watch him go. This is it, I think. We can win. My friend's going to score this penalty and it's going to get us the cup. When we played futsal, Junior took the penalties. He usually put it right in the corner and no keeper could stop it. But what about Captain America? When Junior arrives at the penalty spot, Captain America walks up and says something to him. Then he puts his hand out for a high five. Junior doesn't give him a high five. Captain America doesn't move. But why doesn't Junior walk away? The ref comes up and points to the goal line. Captain America smiles and walks back. He opens his arms and stands there. 
is looking at Junior, not the ball. His hair is very red. Behind the goal, there's a sea of red shirts. The whistle goes. Junior runs up and hits the ball. Oh no! He blasts it over the bar. The Stripes players shout, Yes! And Captain America stands in front of the Stripes fans. Come on! He shouts, Come on! And the fans go crazy. I feel really sorry for Junior. First he scored an own goal, and now he misses a penalty. He walks back to the team on the halfway line. Is he crying? I put my hand on his shoulder. What do I say? In the end, I say nothing. And Junior can't speak or look at me. The penalty shootout is now sudden death. If you miss and the other team scores, that's it. Finished. So who's going to take the next penalty for stripes? What? The keeper? Captain America? Wow. Nobody can stop him, he thinks. Captain America walks back to the box. Then he looks at the goal and waits. Our keeper, Falcao, looks little in front of him. Soon, there's the whistle. Captain America runs up and blasts the ball amazingly fast. Falcao doesn't jump. He hasn't got the time. But wait, it hits the post and bounces back. Now the Stars players shout, Yes! and go crazy. Captain America can't believe it. He's standing there on the penalty spot. Who's going to take the next penalty for Stars? Nobody knows. We look at Coach Zangado. He makes a T with his hands. Time out? No. Tino! It's me! He's pointing at me. I've got the chance to win the cup for Stars in my very first game. And I have a chance to score my third goal. Okay. I know that goals in penalty shootouts are different, but I'm 16 years old, and for me, that's a hat trick. The Stars players say, Good luck, I want to look at my family, but there's no time. I start to walk to the penalty spot. It feels far, so I run slowly with my eyes on the goal. Captain America gets bigger and bigger. I take the ball, put it on the penalty spot, and walk away. Then I stop and look down at my socks. I move them up. First my right, and then my left. When I do this, I put my hand on the little star in my left sock. The star from my mother. Then... I get a crazy idea. I usually hit the ball with my right foot. Captain America is ready for that. But can I shoot with my left? I scored my second goal with my right foot and my first goal with my head. I need to score this penalty with my left foot to get a perfect hat trick. An amazing Wonderful, crazy idea. Captain America thinks I've got butterflies, but I haven't. I'm cool. I'm the coolest young man in Brazil, and I know it's my time. The fans go quiet. Then the whistle. I move to my right, and then start to run. I kick the ball quickly with my left foot, a perfect shot! A perfect hat trick! Goal! I fall on the pitch and smile, 
then look at my family and wave. Then my team jumps on me. And the fans and my family and friends and my village and hometown and all of Brazil go crazy.